big truth in British politics at the moment is that well beyond uh, traditional allegiances to left and right, there's a much deeper, wider, broader sense amongst the electorate that politics isn't working. Look, I think we're in a face of the threshold of a real crisis, a crisis of trust in a crisis of lack of beliefs. I think it's, you know, all the old creeds, all the old sense of values that would have held society together no longer do. I think we're in a crisis of trust in institutions. Um, most of the institutions of the state are not trusted. In many ways, the global institutions perhaps are trusted more like the internet, but the institutions of the states locked within their borders are not trusted. Do you think that we have a system that isn't reflective of the young people in this country, isn't diverse, there are class divides that prevent a lot of young people getting into the system, um, educational disenfranchisement, lots of things that are barriers already. I still think there is a problem with very powerful institutions abusing their power against the common good and I think we need to find ways of addressing that. Political parties, membership of political parties is not what it, what it used to be. There is you know, other people's you know, demands on, on time. People have other things to do which are, you know, dare I say it, a little bit more exciting than going into uh, an AGM on a cold and wet um, Friday evening. But I think there are still very many ways that people do want to get engaged. There is a disengagement in terms of the system, but young people have a lot to say. They have a lot of views on issues about public services and the way that the system works for them. We're reaching the beginning of the end of the old 19th century version of the nation state with a centralised government and we have to think of a new distribution of powers between the citizen and the state. And there is only one way that we can resolve that and that is move government closer to the people. I think it's inevitable either politics, our democracy, really becomes very weak and, and, and I think there's a question mark over its future or it moves with the times and that means giving more people more power, more control, more ownership over the way we do democracy. We have to move beyond left right. I think left right is, is, is defunct and towards a politics of the common good which is about the reconciliation of estranged interests, that's Captain Labour, immigrants, locals, um, north-south, men and women that we've got a very uh, policy-oriented, very technical, um, very silly kind of politics going on and people are longing for change. For me, what's going to be really interesting in the next 10 years is whether the institutions of democracy can reinvent themselves from the inside out to respond to this new, new world. When we see the declining turnout, declining membership of parties and so on, the biggest mistake any politician can make, I think, is to put that down to apathy. But these people are not apathetic. People care very, very much about politics. You only have to look at the protest marches or the fact that millions of people sign up to pressure groups, millions of people take part in petitions like Avaz and 38 Degrees and so on. So people are not apathetic, they don't like the way we do politics in this country and that's the bit we have to address.